Cheers, what it is and what it ain't. It's your boy Lick McCash, aka Money Mitch. And right now you watching the school of hard knocks. And this episode is about staying focused. You gotta stay focused, baby. You gotta stay focused. In a world full of distractions, in a world full of so many other things that keep us off our course. You got to be able to stay focused. It's not an easy thing to do. I'm a living testament of that. It's not easy. You're going to be challenged every day by your friends, your loved ones, people you care about daily. But you got to stay focused. Shit, you might have to even cut them off. For real. Because they might be blocking your blessings. You know? How many friends are you hanging around that's blocking your blessings? It's full of negativity, bad energy. You come up with an idea, they come up with a reason it ain't gonna, it's not going to work. You know what I mean? It's like, come on, man. Or they criticize your idea without a solution of making it better. That's not cool. That's not being friendly. You feel me? But through all of that, you have to stay focused. It's not easy out here, man. It's not easy. You know, niggas is at home playing PS3, PS4, 2K, and all this other fucking video games and shit like that. I ain't never been a gamer. I ain't knocking niggas that do it. But that type of... Activity take away from what you really need to be doing. You know? Now, if you making money playing video games, go ahead, be my guest. Make your money, do your thing. You know, pardon me. But if you broke and your life ain't in order and you ain't got a pot to piss in and your chick is paying all the motherfucking bills because you ain't got no hustle inside you, but all you doing is playing... Uh, 2K or whatever the fuck they got these names for these games. You playing video games? Man, you need to stop bullshitting with yourself, man. Stop bullshitting. You're a grown-ass man. Make it up off your ass and make something happen. You know what I mean? Stay focused. You know? Come on, man. You ain't got time. You can't afford to play video games. You can't afford to be playing around. You can't afford to watch the NFL or NBA or playoff and Super Bowl and shit like that. Nigga, you broke. Broke nigga shouldn't even have a TV. If you broke, you shouldn't even own a TV, nigga. That's the last thing you should be watching is power. Had a nigga call me last night talking about he watching power. Had the nerve to ask me for $300 after that. Nigga, you watching power. I don't even got cable. Ain't no cable in my house. Why? Because I'm too busy reading a book. Or I'm too busy chasing my dreams. Or I'm too busy trying to accomplish or think of a new idea to get closer to whatever my goals may be for that month or that year or that day. Someone, Someone once told me, if you don't have a goal or you don't have goals... I can tell you how much money you got in the bank in your bank account. And I was like, damn, that's deep. That's deep, that's deep for real. How many of you, how many of you out there that don't got goals, man? That don't got no goals. Ain't written nothing down. Ain't got nothing written down. Nothing at all. But you got time to watch Power. You got time to play video games. You got time to hit the club. You got time to do everything in the world. But actually write down a few goals. You got to stay focused, man. Stay focused, man. And when that chick call you up and say, hey, man, ain't uh, what you doing today? Uh, 
you want to go to the movies or you want to take me out to dinner or uh, you want to do, man, you got to put hang the phone up, man. You got to hang the phone up, man, because if she ain't talking about getting no money, if she ain't talking about help, you know, helping you get out your rut, what's, what's the sense of taking her to the movies, taking your little hundred dollars, which you got left saved up and taking her out? You know, it don't, it don't make sense. Same thing for the women. If you got a goal that you're trying to pursue and you got a man that's not helping you pursue your dreams or pursue your goals, then you got to question the type of man that you're dating. You got to ask yourself, why are you dating this particular character? Is it for the sex? Is it for the companionship? Why are you dating this man that is not helping you accomplish your goals? They're helping you reach closer to your goals. They're helping you stay focused. You got a test to, to study for and you got a test to take tomorrow in school but now nah, this dude is this dude wants you to come over to the crib and just hang out and smoke and drink and you do it because why you like to participate in the bullshit but you got to stay focused man if your man is not helping you to accomplish your goals and help you t- reach the next plateau in your life and helping you stay focused then you got to question your relationship you got to readjust your relationship do not waste time with people that like to waste time. You feel me? I'm going to say that again. Because you niggas be listening too slow. Y'all listening, but I don't think y'all hear me though. Do not waste time with people that like to waste time. Procrastinating on life. That's one thing we can't chase. It's time. And we can't never get it back. Once you lose it, it's gone. Point blank, period. Once you lose it, it's gone, man. Y'all gotta stop playing out here, man. You gotta stay focused, man. You gotta stay focused. They got everything. Hey, man, that that phone we got, that little phone that we always on, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. We got so many things in our way that keep us away from accomplishing our goals why you think that is you think these things happen by mistake these things are designed like this for a reason because if we're preoccupied looking through phones on snapchat and looking through twitter and we are preoccupied tweeting and all this other extra shit we can't focus on what we need to be doing You know what I mean? They hitting us with the okie doke. Every other month, there's a new app. Every other month, there's a new something to take you, take your mind away from the reality of your life. The reality of your life is you can't even afford Wi-Fi. The reality of your life is you can't even afford to pay attention. The reality of your life is you got rent, and you don't know how you're going to get the money to pay it. That's the reality of your life. So you don't, you don't have the privilege to play around and not be focused. You don't have the privilege to do that, man. Stay away from mediocre people, too, as well. Stay away from mediocre people, because mediocre people that do things in a mediocre way... They are the people that's going to keep you distracted and keep you off of your cause of action. Stay away. I stay away from mediocre people, man. When I go to a restaurant and if the lady that or the fee, or the, the lady or the male come come up to take my order and they do it in a mediocre way, I know the food ain't gonna be that good. I just I just I just automatically already know this food is not gonna taste that good, man. P- pull over to the right real quick. Park up. Let me let me let me let me get him this game real quick. You know I pay attention to my surroundings. If I go to a restaurant and the person serves me, or they ask me for my order, and they have a particular energy with them, and they and and and, and, and they're, they're they're you know they, they got a good spirit about them. Nine out of ten times I'm gonna enjoy this meal. This meal is gonna be a good meal. I don't care what's going on in the back with the cook. Just on the, just based on the fact that my waiter or my waitress has a good positive energy, 
has a great report, has a great conversational skills, you know, that's going to determine a, her tip as well. But I know I'm going to I'm going to enjoy this food, whether it's, it's, it's good or not. I'm going to enjoy the experience because the waiter or the waitress approached me and asked me for my order, but they gave me a good vibe. They gave me a good energy. It wasn't mediocre. It wasn't it wasn't down. It's almost like you know that that you you need a good vibe when you're going out to eat and having a good time with your friends. You don't want a waiter or waitress that's sad or you know mad at that job. Don't you hate it when you go someplace and they try to you know the person behind the counter is mad that they're working there, so they give you all this attitude. And then they transfer their negative attitude onto you. Now you screaming at somebody else and you don't even know why because you just experienced negativity from the lady at the counter at the DMV. You know what I mean? She mad, she working there. It ain't your fault that she's getting paid whatever she's getting paid. But at the end of the day, if you're in the business of customer service, you should always be of service to the customer and exchange good energy. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, like I'm saying, man, this topic is about staying focused. You got to stay focused. There's a lot of distractions out here. You got to tell your chick to chill out. If she want to chill every night and do the same shit, you have to tell her, hey, baby, I love you, but you got to relax. I'm focused on this right now. Let me do what I got to do. When I'm done doing this, then I will attend, then I will attend to you. But right now, I'm trying to figure out this particular situ- situation. When you wake up in the morning, right, some of you guys have to write your goals down, man. Because you can't just keep it in the back of your mind and think that, oh, this is going to stay in my mind. Nah, you got to write your goals down. Write that shit down, man. Write it down. The universe responds a different way when you write your goals down. I'm a living testament of it. And I always say I'm a living testament of it because I do what I'm speaking. I practice what I preach. I don't just tell y'all these things and don't do it. I do these things. That's why my life is always on the up and up. I don't have bad days. I have great days. Yesterday, my car got towed. That wasn't a bad day for me. That was a great day because at the end of the motherfucking day, there's only 30 minutes out of my day. Of course, I spent unnecessary money, but at the end of the day, I fix my, I, I save my money. So one day my money will save me. So when I have situations like that where I got to spend $250 to get my car to the impound, that ain't nothing but a sweat off my my, my, my motherfucking eyebrow, man, because that ain't nothing to me. You dig what I'm saying? I saved my money, so my money will save me. Now, for you motherfuckers who be trying to keep up with the Joneses and live life like y'all niggas is living La Vida Loca, when you got a situation where you got your your car out of your your car get towed and you got to pay $250 to get your car out, you fucking spaz out. And, 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 and catch a fit And you ready to curse and kill somebody Just cause they move your car You dig what I'm saying Nah man Nah Save your money so your money will save you I say this in the last episode You know what I mean You gotta always keep in mind of the five P's I told y'all about Proper preparation prevents poor performance Remember your five P's You dig Tattoo that shit on your forehead so you don't forget it. Don't forget it. You dig? So like I was saying, man, situations like that occur in my life. I don't trip on none of that, man. I ain't tripping on none of that. Because I, I designed my life in a certain way where it don't matter what happened, man. You know what I mean? As long as I got my life, I don't have bad days. As long as I got my limbs, I got my, uh, 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 my, my intelligence, I got... My life, my car could get hit today, my my house could burn down, I don't give a shit, that's materialistic things that I can get the next day, because I position my life that way, so you gotta stay focused and position your life in the way you see fit, if you're not living the way you see fit, then you have to make some changes, that's one thing that's inevitable, changes. You know, some of you are scared of change, afraid of change. That's why you're not progressing. That's why you're not where you want to be, because you're comfortable. I once, once, I once heard that comfortability is the enemy of progress, and I believe it to be so. I believe it to be so. You comfortable, man? You scared of change? You scared to leave that boyfriend that ain't shit? The nigga ain't been doing nothing for you for the past six months to a year. And you scared to leave him. You know why? 
because you're comfortable. You're scared to leave that girl that has been wasting your time, taking your energy. All she want to do is fuck all day, and you all you're doing is fucking all day, eating pussy, smelling farts, and you, come on, man. Come on, man. You're scared to leave her because you're scared that you might not find another chick that like to get, you know what I mean? Get kinky and shit. Come on, man. Y'all niggas better stop it, man. Y'all niggas better stop it, man. Maybe if you take your... Anyway, let me chill. Let me chill. I was about to say something. I ain't want to offend nobody. But listen, man. Y'all got to stop it, man. And you know I don't give a fuck about offending anybody. But y'all got to stop it, all right? Y'all got to chill out with all that bullshit, man. Chill out, man. Tell your spouse. Tell your significant other. Tell your homeboys. Tell whoever you need to tell. Tell your family members. Tell whoever you need to tell. They got to chill, man. You taking this month off to focus on your goals. You taking this month off to, 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 to pursue your goals. No, you can't go hanging out and party. No, I don't want to play uh, PS4 or PS whatever the fuck it is y'all got now. No, you can't go hang out with the girlfriend at the hookah lounge. Nah, you want to stay home and you want to stay focused, man. Stay focused. I got 2020 vision, man. All I see is a tunnel vision. When I'm locked in on my goals, I go, I, I go head first and I pursue it. Ain't nothing gonna stop me to take care of my goals, man. Listen, I ain't gonna talk y'all to debt. Y'all got the picture. Y'all got the point. It's your boy Liquid Cash. Log on to www.liquidcash.com. Purchase some of my merch, man. Show me some support. Support the brand Cash is King Cash. Create a steady hustle. You dig what I'm saying? And also, like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And leave a comment below and let me know if you enjoyed what I spoke about today. Did you get any information from it? If you did, utilize it in your daily life. If you didn't, discard the bullshit. Take the information that you like and use it in your daily life. You dig what I'm saying? And that's just how it goes, man. That's just how it goes. You're watching the School of Hard Knocks. The game is free, but the hustle sold separately. Class is dismissed.